What's up champions, Mike here with another great jet surfing tip and in this short video I'm going to show you a self rescue tip that I'm using myself when I'm jet surfing alone in an open ocean in the rough conditions. What I'm going to show you here might look funny until it isn't because there is nothing worse than getting stuck alone in the middle of nowhere in big waves, rip currents and no plan B. And if you think this will never happen to you, trust me it will because it already happened to me several times. The board itself is pretty reliable, but even so it can break for no reason. What's even worse, a lot of things can get stuck in your propeller, such as debris, sticks and even fisherman's net. So there is no way to get it out of the propeller without special tools, so we'll have to swim back to the shore. There are many things that can go wrong, so sooner or later they will, so it's better to be prepared. The rule of thumb is saying, never jet surf further than you're willing to swim back to, but honestly nobody's following it, because once you jump on a jet surf, you just ride all the way to the sun. So without further ado, let's jump straight back to the ocean, where I'm going to show you funny, but very helpful self-rescue tip that I'm using myself, when there is nobody around to help you. Let's go! You know, it's freezing cold right now, and imagine you are stuck in the middle of the ocean. The closest way to swim is around one kilometer. You went really far and now you're really fucked up. Trust me, this happened several times to me, so I know what I'm talking about. There are many things that can go wrong. For example, your board broke down, or you flooded your engine, or you flooded your spark plug, or you just simply ran out of gas. So there are many, many things that can go wrong, and trust me, they will. So in case you are jet surfing alone in the open ocean, there are several tips that you should think about before you're going out. So you try to start your jet surf several times and it just doesn't want to start. So the only solution you got is to swim back to the shore. And trust me, this is not the easiest thing. Remember, jet surf is not a flotation device. It means you cannot just lay down on it and paddle back like with the regular surfboard. You have to swim behind it and keep pushing it with one arm and this can be really really frustrating take a look this may take you from half an hour to one hour to swim back to the shore especially if you have strong waves winds and rip currents so my suggestion to you in case you're jet surfing alone in the open ocean always get the self-rescue backpack behind you security backpack will include a pair of fins paddling gloves and a waterproof phone just in case you want to call and ask for help now we are going to get the fins out. See, it's super easy. We just put the fins on. That's it. The fins are on. You can also use your security phone to call for help. Uh, one pepperoni pizza and a diet coke, please. Yeah, thank you. Finally, put your paddling gloves on and you're ready to swim back to the shore much faster. So now using my fins, I feel much more safe and secure swimming back to the shore all this distance. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Go Jet Surfing Nation! Cheers!